I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to add name servers for a domain. Now this is different than than adding name server than than applying name servers to a domain when you're going to change the hosting. This is actually to create name servers in GoDaddy um, for the domain so that you can use it for a server, a, a virtual private server, or uh, some server that allows you to uh, have name servers pointing to it. So uh, what you're going to do in GoDaddy to do this, this is just for the GoDaddy end. You're going to click on, uh, let's see here, on the domain. This is a client of mine's website. Uh, we're just going to, we're not going to submit any real things, but we're going to go ahead and do a test. I'm going to click on DNS. I think it's in there. Let's see. Okay. And this is not where you want to create name servers. If you're setting name servers for the domain to, to have it go to a new hosting or something like that, you would do it there. Uh, but we're actually going to go to host names under advanced features. And as it says, host names lets you use your domain instead of an IP address to identify your name servers. So we're going to click add. Okay, so here we're just going to type in NS1 or whatever you want your name server to be, but usually it's going to be NS1, NS2, NS3, NS4. Um, so then you're going to grab the IP. This will be provided by your tech person. Um, or you have to get it from your VPS server and make sure that your cPanel or your whatever server is set up, uh, your DNS server is set up to use these IPs. And you just put it in there and you would click save. And you can click add again to add NS2. You usually add two of these at a time. And you do NS2 at the other IP. Usually these two IPs will point to the same single server. Uh, there we go. Okay, and that's what you have to do. If you have another server, you can add NS3 and NS4, and you can just keep adding uh, name servers to your, um, to your registrar, and they will point to your new server. Uh, and then when you have websites on that server, say you have 10 websites on that server, you would always set the name servers uh, where we were before as ns1.domain.com, ns2.domain.com. In this case, it would be ns1.eileensitesart.com uh, and ns2.eileensitesart.com. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Let's see. And we should be done. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And you can reach me at weissmanweb.com. Uh, it's W-E-I-S-M-A-N-N-W-E-B.com. Thank you. Have a great day.